Hey guys, Fly Girl Fitness coming into you with my week 156 post app VSG update. Can you believe I'm still doing this? <laughs> so annoying, I'm sure. Um, okay, so I'm just going to jump right into the numbers and then we'll go from there. Um, I had um, surgery December 5th, 2013. I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, my heaviest weight was 319. That was probably back in 2005, 2006. Um, my two-week pre-op diet was 301.2. My um, uh, day of surgery weigh-in was 291.8. I weighed in, my lowest weight uh, thus far has been 181.2. Uh, I think I weighed in last week. I'm not actually entirely sure that I did weigh in. I was hovering between one, uh, between, yeah, I wish, uh, 221.4 and 220.2. Um, and I weighed in today at 218. So that is a two to three pound loss, um, depending on kind of which day I was looking at it. And I wasn't really recording. I just kind of made a mental note. Um, I've been trying to make small goals every day and some days I forget, so it's not like perfect, but just little things like trying to eat when I'm hungry or if I haven't eaten in five hours, but I'm not hungry, eating a little something, just, you know, um, not trying not to eat out of boredom or because I should, you know, um, or no, like one day it was for several days. It was like, no candy, don't eat candy. Uh, cause I had candy in the house for a long time and I was definitely in that sugar cycle. It was pretty crazy. Um, I've done better on my drinking. Um, my meals are, um, smaller and more in line with what I'm supposed to be doing in terms of protein and produce. Um, so less carbs. I mean, not that I'm not, um, eating carbs. Like I made grilled cheese sandwiches last night, but I put tomato and basil on my grilled cheese sandwiches and I made bacon deviled eggs. Um, and only had like two bites of dessert and I only had a couple, you know, like it was good. It was really good. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've been reflecting a lot. Um, you know, so I'm at a 38.6 pound regain at, as of today, my, I, I would love to drop seven or eight pounds by the end of the year. Um, my goal is obviously not to continue to gain weight through the holidays, not to give that free reign. I remember, Last year, I was around Thanksgiving, I was 296 or so, 196. Um, so I was struggling with that 15 pounds I had gained in the spring and summer. And then by the end of the, um, by the January 2nd, I was 209. So I gained like another 14 pounds just from the holidays because I was just like, gave myself free reign. And it wasn't even my most indulgent holidays that I've had. <laughs> like the year before was definitely worse. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know. <laughs> Let me address this really quick. So I don't know how to do hair. I am not Lauren. I do not know how to do anything with this. Um, I know how to do things with this now because of her. My makeup looks really good today, right? I don't know if you can see it. It's really bright. Like I almost look completely washed out, but I know that when I watch it back, it'll be better. But um, yeah, so I know how to do a little bit of this now. But um, I learned this trick and, and it's not it's not really all that cute, but I do like I do kind of like it. I don't know. I'm kind of into the big hair lately, which I, I never thought having had big hair my entire and frizzy hair my entire life. Never thought I'd say. Um, yesterday I, when I showered, I put my wet hair up into a, a bun like right here and then I slept in it and went to the gym and took a shower with a shower cap on and got out, did my makeup and got dressed. And then I took it out and like sprayed it with a shit ton of texture spray, like all upside down. And this is what I've got. So it's like, you know, my end, like some, some, some pieces are curly. Some pieces are like not, um, it's kind of just a, a mess, but I, 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 I don't really care. I only have uh, I have dinner with a friend tonight, so it's not like I'm dressing to impress, but anyway, um, <laughs> my point is, <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, my point is my goal right now, I, you know, I've been really considering some dietary changes I know a lot of people are doing keto and low carb and high fat and, um, you know, I, I've been fussing with my macros for some time already. Um, but I don't know that right now is the time for me to start anything, um, big. I am completely not ready to give up my wine yet. I know 
what that means um, in terms of my ability or inability to lose weight. I'm very aware of that. Um, but coming into the holiday season, you know, I was originally going to do like, okay, I'm only going to drink these five days or whatever. Um, but I've been moderating my drinking a lot better. So I feel a lot, a lot better about that. And I think I just have to do one step at a time. So, um, you know, like not have a drink every time I go out with a friend. So, you know, like tonight, if I go out to dinner, like I don't have to order a drink and I've been doing that. Um, so that's been nice. Uh, but I also don't want to, I, I want it, I want to include it in my daily goals versus it's something that I'm like really strong about. Cause I don't feel very strong about very many things right now. And so I'm just trying to be reasonable in terms of what I think I can accomplish since I'm kind of in this frame of mind of setting myself up for failure means I'm just that much harder on myself later. And so I want to have these small goals and have small successes and be happy instead of making all these sweeping promises for the next six, six weeks or whatever, and then be super depressed and down on myself, which I'm very prone to doing right now, um, for not having accomplished every single thing. Like, oh, I did 10 things, but I failed on these three things. Like, I just want to be like, okay, you know, I'm doing one meal at a time. I'm having eggs and bacon for breakfast or a shake, or, you know, like I'm, like I'm doing, making these other choices instead of going to Starbucks and having a breakfast sandwich. You know, those are things that I was doing a few months ago and now I'm, I'm doing a lot better. So just these small little ch changes um, and small daily goals make each day feel like a success instead of making these big sweeping promises and, and feeling more like I'm fighting a battle. Um, I definitely feel that um, after the holidays are over, I'm going to be much in a much better spot to commit um, holidays are always hard and they're particularly hard for me because I love the holidays. Thanksgiving through New Year's is seriously my favorite time of year. I have a very regimented program <laughs> in terms of how I deal with the holidays. So Thanksgiving is, um, one of, one of our favorite, God, this is so much, so big. It's actually like in, in my way. <laughs> um, you know, we have Thanksgiving with my family, Thanksgiving Day. I always do an annual um, wine tasting tour, Black Friday. I've done that probably seven out of the last 10 years. Um, this year, we're actually doing more of a pub crawl. So we're going to wine bars and wineries and breweries um, to taste beer, cider, and wine. And we're just going to stay in town and we're going to Uber around because normally we go out to wine country. Um, but I just felt like doing something different this year and being able to include more people, um, you know, to so that people can come and go versus like, okay, you have to be here at 10. We'll be out wine country at 11. You know, we'll be out there till five and then we'll be back, you know, like having to plan all of that. And like, if you can come, you can come, but there's really no meeting us out there since it's an hour away. So this time, you know, people can kind of come and go and, and do what they want. And we'll have a little bit for everybody. So if you don't like beer, but you like wine, you'll have that. If you don't like beer or wine, but you like cider, there'll be that. If you don't like beer, but, or you don't like wine, but you like beer, there'll be that, you know, so, um, it'll be a little bit for everyone. Plus there'll be more opportunity to eat and grab some interesting bites along the way. So that's what we're doing this year. But my point is Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Saturday, I always get my tree and decorate it. Always. I blare Christmas music. It is an event. Um, I usually kick my husband out of the house <laughs> after we get the tree and I'm like, okay, you go do whatever. I'm focused, like, and then I just get in the zone. And then Sunday I start making my Christmas list. We usually have a down day and just like super chill and, you know, go to the grocery store and make good healthy food and watch movies and relax from the, from the weekend. And then, you know, we get through and then there's Christmas parties and I've, I've done really well to like not over schedule myself. Normally it's like every weekend, it's like three things. Um, and this year it's like, I really only have two things this year and I've done a really good job of making sure that I have downtime and I'm not doing too much during the week and this, that, and the other. So, um, and, and on the weekends, but then we've got, you know, specific events that we do every Christmas and, um, yeah. And the new year's, you know, we don't, excuse me, know what we're going to do. I don't think, I don't know of any parties. Oh, I was invited to one party, but we may end up doing something in, um, out of t I don't know what we're going to end up doing. We, we have a couple ideas bouncing around, um, uh, special K and I. So, um, but yeah, and then comes January 2nd, I usually commit to a whole 30 or a cleanse. Like I'm, I'm pretty good about always having that, knowing that that's coming up and then being completely prepared to just like drop everything and do that, um, to start the year off right and kind of rid my body of all the alcohol and sugar that may, may be going on. But this year, I don't think I'm making fudge. I always make fudge. I don't eat a lot of fudge, but it's really, 
I struggled with it the last few years, having been post-op and still making this fudge, which is super, like, it's the fudge off the back of the marshmallow container. It's amazing. And I add candy canes and peppermint um, extract on one batch. And then I do a nut batch and I do a regular batch. And so, like, everyone dies over my peppermint fudge. But I just don't think I'm going to do it this year. Also, it's expensive. And I just spent all my money on a wedding. So <laughs> I am poor and um, I'm going to be doing minimal gifts this year, unfortunately, but that's okay. People will understand and um, it is what it is. So I don't think I'm doing much this year just, just for my sanity and, and pocketbook as much as it's like just, you know, even though I only do maybe 10 pieces per person because nobody wants all that sugar, it's just so much sugar. It's just so much. And it's been against kind of my thought mentality for a long time and I don't know so I, I don't know I may change my mind and get wrapped up in the whole um process and and um habit and uh spirit of of it but we'll see um let's see what else I got my wedding photos back I'm in negotiations with them on editing them. <laughs> But um, it, it's worked out okay. Do you guys like my heart? This is the cork heart that me and Fur and um, Darby and I think it was Steph yeah and Stephanie um, made and it actually has lights all the way around it. It lights up, but um, you know we keep it off during the day. So it's beautiful. We love it. Kent um, is very excited to have it in the house. He was like, "We're keeping that, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's big and it's ombre." Can you see? It goes from white to like rose to like. Pinot Noirs to like Merlot and Zippendales, right? Like cabs, light, medium, yeah, all the way dark. So it it's it doesn't look as good here, but in person it's like very gradient. It's very cool. Um, thank you, Pinterest. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, yeah, I feel a lot better. I went to the gym today. You guys, I went to the gym today and I did um I walked there, it's a beautiful day. Um, so five minute walk there and I did Five minutes on the treadmill. I did a 20 minute light, like shoulder endurance workout. Um, but I was, I have lost a lot of strength. I mean, it's been, it's been two months since I've been to the gym. And then I did another 10 minutes on the treadmill and um, the five minute walk home. So I counted that as two workouts because anything over 15 minutes of cardio, I count as a workout. Um, and so I, I think my goal was 190 workouts this year, and I think I'm at like 163 or 164. So I did the math. I've got 27 or 28 workouts throughout the end of the year. And if I start tagging on weightlifting and 20 minutes of cardio, which is usually 20, not 15, but today, since it was my first day, I was just like, let's just ease into this a little bit. Uh, and I did some PT exercises and a couple things that were extra. Um, then I should get there. Uh, if I actually start going. So um, I will not be going tomorrow, but I anticipate that I'll go this weekend at least one day. Um, and, and that's two days more than I've done in the last couple months. And then next week, you know, I can start going four days. And so that's my that's my goal. I will say this, though. Um, it's very easy to, to break a habit of doing something like that. And it's very hard for me to um, get into the habit, even though I know I love the gym. And even though I know I love lifting weights and cardio, whatever, I can take it or leave it. But like, I know that it makes me happy. Here's, and yesterday I was like, I'm getting to the gym just for half an hour. I have no meetings today. All I have to do is this work. Like I can take an hour and go and do this for the gym or even 15 minutes, like whatever. I'm just going to go do something. But here's, here's what I finally started realizing as I was getting up and I was putting my pajamas on and getting coffee and breakfast. And that's usually the time that I would get to the gym. And then right around 1030, I would start talking myself out of it. And I would shower and get ready and do whatever. Um, and yesterday I had a little bit of a party here at the house. I had movie night and there was like seven of us. And so like I made my deviled eggs and I, I got everything ready um, for that. So I made that my excuse and plenty of time to do that later in the afternoon. Um, so what I did this morning was when I got up, I didn't put my pajamas on. I put my workout clothes on. So then it's like that much harder to be like, oh, I'm already dressed and I'm not going to the gym. Like I'm like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So I did. And I will say this. It felt like the curtain lifted. I, with, I'm not kidding. This sounds so cheesy, but it's so true for me. With every step I took towards that gym, my mood improved. So I was in a great mood by the time I got there. 
I was, I didn't just, dis- I wasn't disappointed in the fact that I was only doing five or 10 pound weights, um, you know, versus like 15 or 20, which is usually what I'm doing with shoulders and stuff. Um, not, not always, but not with certain, you know, overhead presses and things like that. Um, I just noted the, the back and I thought, you know, I'll get there. It's okay. Everyone starts somewhere. I've, I've, it might have muscle memory. It'll be fine. And I considered the fact that I was there a success. I was listening to Pandora's 80s cardio radio, which is my favorite thing to work out to, my favorite music. So ACDC and Foreigner and Journey and Guns N' Roses and all the good 80s stuff. Um, and I had a great time. And I'm, I, feel, I feel more myself today than I have um, in a lot, in a really, in a, in a couple, in, since I got, uh, for a, okay. (laughs) In a while, in a long time. It feels like even, I mean, since probably a week after the wedding, I, you know, once we were back and we, we were back and settling into life again. I mean, life has been so great as a married couple, but I also had all this occupation in my brain for over a year and planning this. And it was so great and so happy and so epic and so perfect. And I wouldn't change anything about it. But now where does my brain space go? <laughs> like, what do I do with that? And so part of it's that. And the other part is that Kent and I celebrated for a while after we got married. You know, we we partied and we had a great time and it was fun. And I put on 10 more pounds like that. So then I was like, once, you know, three weeks after the wedding, once that hit me, I was like, well, fuck. And then I started to kind of more spiral and was really sad and really blue and, and just more lethargic and more, um, uh, uh, you know, my, my demeanor was to me, I don't know if it was reflected other, other ways, but anyway, um, that's, I'm at almost 20 minutes. This is like the longest update I've made in so long. So I am so sorry. Um, I will let you go. I also just want to say one last thing. Um, I I feel really emotional right now. My, I, I feel like me getting to the gym today um, is like 30% me and 70% you. <laughs> I do. Um everybody who sent me a message, everybody who's been reaching out via text, because I've been kind of radio silent the last month and a half, right? Everybody who's posted on on a post or done hashtag Team Lindsay, like, you have no idea how much that is playing in the back of my head all the time. And it's not just an accountability thing. It's, it's like, in part, I feel accountable. Like, I don't want to let you guys down either. I don't want to let me down, but I don't want to let you down. And then another thing is like, well, I should practice what I preach, right? And another thing is, and, and lead by example. That's That goes with number two, lead by example. Like, I can't say fake it till you make it when I'm sitting on my ass and not getting myself to at least walk to the gym, even if I turn around and walk back. You know, that's that's just faking it. You know, like, I I may not want to do it, but I need, you know, today I thought I was like, I don't want to go, but I'm going to go. And I did, and it was amazing. Um, and then on the, on just the third, it's just like, you guys inspire me and motivate me and your encouragement and complete unconditional, like care, honestly, it blows and boggles my mind. And I don't really know what I've done to necessarily deserve that, but I just want you to know it means so much to me and it has, it, I feel it in, I feel it all over. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my soul. I feel it. I just, I feel it. So, um, Please keep it up for me for a little while to carry me through until I really get my groove back, okay? Um, you guys can always lean on me, and right now I need to lean on you. So um, that's where I'm at. And I just want to say an extra special thank you to everybody for, for all of that because it's it's meant a lot. So anyway, hashtag Team Lindsay. Woo! Um, okay, you guys, keep it fly out there. Have a super, super duper weekend, and um, I will see you guys next week. Bye!